Good morning, ma'am. In uh, previous class, we were speaking about uh, lack of ron members. We were talking about lack of ron. So, when you see this lack of ron, Here we have a lack of ron. It is nothing but regulation of single G. So we are telling this is the regulation of single G. We are telling regulation of single G. One is called as switch off and switch on. We are having switch off and switch on mechanism. So here we are telling. Girls, listen, girls. You all have written test. You all have written well. But uh, some girls, you know, you all have given your numbers. But your names are not there, girls. So, how to give the marks? Your numbers are there. Your names are not there. When your names are not there, how can I give the marks? When your number is there, your uh, mobile number, you will send your name. Some of the names are not there. Some of the names are there. To whom I am responding? I didn't give marks till uh, to the girls because some of the names I don't know who are gone. And we have told you all, you all come and register. How many girls still obeyed? I don't know. How many girls obeyed? We don't know. Practicals, we should see girls. Practicals, manual. You all are having manual. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yeah, we are um, having the manual. We'll give yes, ma'am. We'll give the manual. I have. You have to come to us. You have to come to the college and No problem. So, when we are giving manuals, we'll give what are the things to be told and all those things. You all send me your uh, names, girls. I have some of the names, not all the girls. The girls who sent only the numbers, you know, you all should send your names. And you see, Komala. Komala is present today. Komala is present. Okay, let those girls come. I will speak afterwards. You all can see the board number. Um, yes. Lack of run, switch off mechanism. You can see, ma'am? We can see, ma'am. Ah, okay. Lack of run, switch off mechanism. 
I gave introduction on black pepper oil on Thursday. We have seen the concept of pepper that is switch on and switch off mechanism. So when we said this lack of grammar, introduction what we gave, we told proteins are body builders. You all know that. So these proteins are being synthesized in the cells. They are directed by the DNA. So when our body makes protein, that time these proteins will be synthesized in our body. The direction, the switch off mechanism, or what we call the switch on mechanism, it is under the control of DNA. DNA only says now protein synthesis are not there in the body. No proteins are not there. That time it will synthesize. When again when this DNA is there, proteins are there. Enough proteins are there. Then it will stop synthesizing of the protein. That's what we are telling. It is under the control of the DNA. So here we are telling the proteins molecules are produced and the cell requires energy. When we need protein, that time only it will be synthesized by two different means. That is called as uh, switch on mechanism or switch off mechanism. We are telling. So here we are telling this lack of protein was being explained by the scientist called as Jacob and Bruna in the year nineteen. So we know it was being explained by the scientist called Jacob and Bruna in the year 1961. We are telling. Then we spoke. It is we have seen all these things. Protein synthesis in the bacteria called E. coli. We are studying in the bacteria called as E. coli. We are studying this. So here now we are telling. The, these things we gave introduction. So we told when the lactose molecules are present, the DNA of the bacteria is switch on. So we told when the lactose is present, when lactose is present in the molecule, that time we are using the term what is called as switch on mechanism because the DNA only is direct. When the when the lactose molecules are not present in the nutrient medium, then we are using the what is called as switch off mechanism. It is again it will be switch on, it will be switch off. It is under the control of DNA. We told. So here what we are doing switch on to produce the enzyme which is necessary to break. When the process is being switch on, it will break. It will break the process. That means what we are doing. Then the switch on this lactose will be broken into two components, the two molecules or two products we are doing. So it will be broken into two products. One is called as glucose, and it is called as glucose. These things I have explained. So we are telling it is this this lactose is a disaccharide. Lactose is a disaccharide. This disaccharide will be broken down into two monosaccharide units. One is called as glucose, and next is called as galactose. So here we are telling they are regulated by GI regulator gene, promoter gene, operator gene, and structural gene. So it is again under the control of the genes, which is called as a regulator, promoter, operator, and structural gene. In structural gene, you are having three types. So you are having three structural gene that is Z, Y, D. You are having three genes of structural gene that is Z, Y, and D. So we are telling the cluster of structural gene together it is called as operon, operon genes. These things I have explained to us and I told you. When the RNA polymerase enzyme transcripts the structural gene, it produces three mRNA strands. So those three mRNA strands are nothing but beta galactosidase gene, beta galactoside kinase, and beta galactoside transacetylase. So, 
will they restock them the other day? Now we will see what is the switch off mechanism. So when they are asking lack of ground concept, you are explaining lack of ground concept. You are telling what is switch off mechanism. You are telling what is switch on mechanism. Formula is not there, no ma. That day formula came, ma. On Friday formula came. Anybody know? Whose formula is there? Lahiri. Lahiri. Ma'am. Formula came, ma. Yes, ma'am. When she came. On Friday, ma'am. What I told her. What can you ask? Send the test paper, test ma. This is I told you. Answers and what time you should send? I told before twelve twenty twelve thirty. You should send. I told Nama. Rinse it all. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Rinse. Why you didn't come? And then I'll rinse. Unmute your mobile. Why Rinse didn't come for the test? If you are not coming for the test, I mean I will not give internal marks. You are don't think. It is not important. You are don't think. Rinse. Stick up. As and when you are in, you are cannot come like that. And to send the papers, you are telling uh, no net connection. That is all. That is all vain excuse. So we are saying, what is the switch off mechanism? When the lactose molecule, I told you, I told you this lactose molecule, the switch off mechanism, switch on mechanism, switch on mechanism. Okay, ma'am. 
So the way it goes and suppress, it goes and attaches. Ma'am, I sent with my name. Ma'am, what? Ma'am, I gave with my name. Oh, Tanya. Ma Vino, ma'am. Ma Vino. Yesterday. Yes, there is no transcription or translation or required protein synthesis is not in place. So it is very easy. Taking a energy, go and produce one kind of substance, which is part of the repressor. This repressor goes and binds to the outside energy and it stops. It produces the enzyme, which is part of the RNA polymerase enzyme. It goes and attaches to the structural genes of the regions and it is not performing the function. So, as a result, what we are doing, yes, it is called the switch off mechanism. It is very easy. You can tell lactose molecules are absent in the nuclear medium, DNA system. That's all. Then you can write this regulator gene produces the repressor, it goes and binds to the operator, so there will not be any functions. Yes, it is called as a switch off mechanism. That is the short sequence. And when you see this uh, switch on mechanism, it is a long sequence. So, what we are getting in switch on mechanism, we are getting lactose in the nuclear media and DNA switched on. Switched on means protein synthesis is taking place. PSI return. Protein synthesis will take place. PSI return. So, you are not getting Great, mute yourself. Yes, step in mute. So, what we are doing, this results in the synthesis of three mRNA molecules continuously. So, this process we spoke about this. Where did this process are happening? Where did this process are happening? In the top and the Equally, ma'am. Equally, bacteria. Equally, bacteria. That is this Yes, yes. 
So, we are telling this is about the lack of pride. Some girls, you know, they are in the class, but still, you know, simply they are keeping the mobiles and you are concentrating elsewhere. Difficult. Contents are important. That is about lack of prone concept. Next you are having what is called as human genome project. Next we are calling human genome project. All five mark question only. Human genome project, lack of prone concept, all those things. To take the question paper and see, these questions will be repeated. You have seen the previous question paper, anybody? You have seen previous question papers, girls? No, ma'am. These questions, that is lack of raw human genome project. Human genome project is the next concept. So, what is this human genome project? It is the H-G-P. Human genome project. So, we are telling it is a scientific project concerned with the, with the study of base sequence. We are studying about base sequence of DNA molecules of a complete set of chromosomes. So, it is started in the year 1900s. It is started in the year 1900s. We are studying about the basic sequence of DNA in this concept. In this concept. So, it was started in the year 1990s. So, Kanataka gave more importance for this human genome project. Now, we are seeing what is this genome? What is this gene? When you see, when you see what is this genome, we are telling genome, the total number of genes located on the haploid set of chromosomes. So, what we told in a damage, we are having haploid set of chromosomes. So, they are using the so we are telling the total number of genes located on the haploid set of chromosomes. Genome refers to one complete set of genes for the species. It is usually found in the haploid set of chromosomes. So we are speaking about R from one gamut, R from the other gamut to form what is called as a zygote. To form what is called as a zygote. Still, Veenu is not uh, unmuted the mobile. We are telling what are the goals? Many a times we will ask goals of human genome project. Many a times they will ask goals of human genome project. What are the questions important? I am telling those questions only I will give for the test girls. You should learn and come here and there. Again and again, you may not tell. Uh, I didn't learn that, I didn't learn this, you may not take. So here we are telling goals of human genome projects. What is the goal? So first one we are telling identify, identify of all approximately 20,000 to 
25,000 genes in the human approximately. We are not telling this is the number. This is for small number of what we have. Approximately, a DNA may have human DNA, human DNA may have 20,000 to 25,000 genes in the human DNA. We are telling that is approximate number. That is not a permanent number. So here, what we are doing determines the sequence of all three billion chemical base pairs. So these genes are having three billion chemical base pairs. See, so you know, when you take one double helix structure, the way that this double helix structure, we know it is having only ten base pairs. It is having only ten nucleotide base pairs. We know. But when you see one human uh, DNA, human body, we are telling it is having three billion chemical base pairs are present. It seems three billion chemical base pairs are present. It seems. So what does their function mean? It stores all data information. For example, you see your computers. Before twenty-five years, what you store? Can you go and rectify those information now, girls? Can you rectify those information now? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. You will get or you will not get. Open your mouth and answer. You will get. Yes, ma'am. You will not get. You will not get. It will be deleted. Yes, sir. No. Yes, ma'am. It will be deleted. But for example, you just. Now we are age will be some fifteen or sixteen or seventeen or eighteen. Now that is that is the different individuals, different age. What you say in age you can remember, Lucas? You can remember. Yes. You can remember. Remember. Yes. Also, you can remember. Store the information what you have. So dichloromethane. It is used as solvent for paint remover and. So here we are telling it stores this information in the form of data base. Improves the tools for data analysis. It improves the tools for data analysis, and it is also transfers related technologies to the other sectors such as industry. It is information to some of the industries, and we are telling very important addresses. Ethical, legal, social issues. It answers all these questions. It on it answers ethical issues, legal, social. It may arise from any projects. So that is about what is called as goals of human genome project. That is the goals of human genome project. Next, we are saying. What is this methodology? So when you see this methodology, what do you mean by methodology, guys? What do you mean by the methodology? Used in DNA sequences, ma'am. So here, what we are doing to identify all the genes and that expressed on the RNA refers as Expressed sequence tag. We told approximately what we told. Approximately, human bodies are having twenty thousand to twenty-five thousand genes. We told. So approximately what we told. Again, we are having three billion chemical base pairs. We told there are three billion chemical base pairs. So three billion base pairs we are telling. When you see this three billion base pairs, that is all approximately. So in that, in those things, whatever it expresses, whatever it is being expressed, it is expressed in the form of what we are telling. Now I am referring to the expressed sequence tags. So whatever it is expressed. That one we are calling. 
simply sequencing the whole set of genome and contain all coding and non coding sequence and later assigning different region and the sequence with functioning is called as sequence annotation so when you see one rna expression it is having what is called as coding region it is having what is called as coding region and it is having what is called as non coding region that is also we spoke when there is coding region and there is non coding region it doesn't want non coding region it doesn't want non coding region because it is not having any information it is not having any information So in these regions, they will know these regions, and they will have this coding region in the code. Same thing on the other side. But the other part, they are not removing what is called as non-coding region. They are not removing what is called as non-coding region. Instead of they are leaving everything, they are leaving the coding region. They are leaving non-coding region. Everything is left like that only on the screen. So when everything is there, simply like that. that you are using that function you are calling as sequence annotations that function you are using the term what is called as sequence annotations so here what we are doing the commonly used host so what we are using what are the organisms we are using in this methodology what are the animals what are the organisms we are using that is one is bacteria next is yeast you are using for this host for the sequence where bacteria and yeast as a vector bacterial artificial chromosome and yeast artificial chromosome you are using bacterial artificial chromosome or you are using what is called as yeast artificial chromosome so we are studying we are taking these organisms only as a host We are writing these organisms only as a host, and we are studying this one, which is called as a bacterial artificial chromosome, or which is called as yeast artificial chromosome. That is the methodology. Next, we are having what is called as DNA sequencing procedure in human genome project. DNA. sequencing procedure in human genome project so we are studying first point in this dna sequencing the fragments were sequenced using automatic dna sequence that worked on the principles of methodology developed by frederick singer singer is also credited for developing methods of determining of amino acid sequence in proteins when you see this chromosome when you are using the term dna when you are using the term chromosome girls make it fast answer me when you are using the term dna when you are using the term chromosome when you are using girls you are calling here all the times dna or you are using the term all the times chromosome when you are using the term dna when you are using the term chromosome ashwini rapana mehnas one shall i explain what you are doing when you are using the term chromosome when you are using the term dna stephy please when you are using the term dna ma Steffi P. So, what we are doing when you are having one cell, you are having one cell, you are having one nucleus in that cell. You are having one nucleus in that cell. So, here we are using the term what is called as a chromatin nucleus. It is nothing but DNA. It is nothing but DNA. When the cell, when the same cell undergoes what is called the cell division, when the cell is undergoing what is called the cell division, that time we are using the term what is called the chromosome. We are not using the term DNA. On the chromosome, only we are having genes. Those genes only is transmitting the 
functions. So she is only transmitting the functions we are doing. So here we are today. It was this Frederick Singer. He not only gave sequence of DNA. He only the person. He gave the sequence of what is called the amino acid. He only gave the sequence of amino acid. He only gave the sequence of DNA. We are doing. Frederick goes to Frederick Singer only. This sequence was then arranged based on some overlapping region present in them. We told when we say about this products, uh, we told we are not overlapping. It's not overlapping. But when we say this DNA sequence, it is having some of the region, particular region, which is called as overlapping region. We are called as overlapping region. So they are called as overlapping region. In that overlapping region, what's happening means it requires generation of overlapping fragments from the sequence. It will not take only one or two elements. You will see their generation. We will go further and see how many overlapping generations were there. How many overlapping generations were there? You will find out. Alignment of these sequences was humanly not possible. In human beings, it is not possible. We cannot study in human beings, so they are taking some other species. There were specialized computer-based programs were there to study about this. It was being based on the computerized program. Maybe like this in future. Maybe like this in past tense. They were being studied like that. So we told you know, we are the first. The parents' brain cube was 900 cc. Like that, we told you, know, like that. It is all based on the computer-based programs. It was studied on the computer-based program method. These sequences were subsequently annotated and were assigned to each chromosome. It was given to different chromosomes. So what we are doing? The sequence of the chromosome minus one was completed only in 2006. Chromosome minus one was completed only in two thousand. Then how many years will it have? How many years do we need to study all these things? In May two thousand six, and we are telling this was the last of twenty four human chromosome minus twenty two autosomes X Y to be sequenced. Still they did not sequence. Did not. Still they did not study. It should be studied here today. So another challenging risk was assigned for genetic and physical maps on the genome. So you are having what is this risk mean? Generated using the information of poly polymorphism of restriction endonuclease restriction site and some repetitive DNA sequence known as microsatellite. Generally under the name called as microsatellite. Study under the name called as micro satellite. This is about what is called as a DNA sequencing procedure in human genome project. In this, you will have one question: What is that? Mean what is micro satellite? You will have two more question: What is called as micro satellite? You will get questions like this, girls. What is Human Genome Project? And give the goals of Human Genome Project. You will get question like that. What is Human Genome Project? And give the goals of Human Genome Project. And next question, what we 